So Gadget Man 404, I'm going to show you what the flight uh, controller program looks like on your computer. Now as I've said in my other video, when you open it, you need to first run it as the administrator for it to recognize the USB port. Uh, I've, had, I've had this now for a few weeks and I've only able to set it up to connect to the computer within the last uh, few days and then I've managed to take the restriction off. So I'm just let it do its thing. And this is what the program looks like when it's opened. I've just basically zoom in, in a little bit with my phone. So when you've got your transmitter switched on and you've got the battery connected to the quadcopter, here it will say COM5 or 6 and you click connect. And when you flip the switches on the transmitter, these will change. So it will go to GPS hold and so on and also altitude hold will go manual or it will go on and then these all change now what you can do is you can change the values of these and then you just click upload so if you want your voltage your warning voltage of your quad to be less than 10.1 you can change it and then just click upload and it will change it on here also your throttle and your yeah, ailerons and all that, you can change the values if you don't want the, the motors to spin as fast when it switches on, you can change the settings I believe and here's the one that I was interested in when I switched it on it says there look a thousand meters by a thousand meters but here it says nothing so you click on here and it says there one thousand by one thousand 500 by 150 or 150 by 50 so I clicked on this and then it goes in that box and then when it's connected to your quadcopter you click upload and then it changes the values when you come back into this program that box will be blank all the time but I've flown since I've changed the settings and I've definitely got more range than I had on my first flight so it definitely works and you know when it is working properly because you can you know it will go from manual like the GPS mode status here will go from manual to GPS on or whatever and then altitude smart status is off in manual but you switch it up for on and it will say altitude smart mode on or whatever um, this is just a little video to show you what the program looks like so once you connect the computer and like I said flight controller tool version 2.0 have a go if you've had a few issues with your first flights and basically you don't think it's got much range then definitely Download this program, you go to the FreeX website, there's a little credit card in the box with the quadcopter, the address is on there, go to the website, download the drivers, download the program, and to get it to work, and I'm running Windows 7 and my son's got Windows 10, to get it to register that it was connected, I had to right click on the program, before you open it so I'll change this so you right click there and then run as administrator and then it'll open up the program in a few seconds just takes a bit of time click on that it'll open in a second Just a bit, bit slow, and there you go. So yeah, I hope you found this 
helpful. This has been Gadget Man 404 out.